guys, it's slime time. Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then a big welcome to you. This week, we will be doing a $100 slime meowie review. Before we get on with the disclaimers, can we just admire how adorable this little cat is on the shipping label? Why is that so amusing to me? I honestly couldn't tell you. Before we get on with the video, there's just a couple disclaimers I want to get out of the way. The first thing is, is that I paid for all of these slimes with my own money that I made off of YouTube. The second thing is, is that I include shipping in the overall price, so if these slimes add up to less than $100, that is why. The third thing is, is that if I sound sick and kind of dying a little bit, you would be right, because I am sick and kind of dying a little bit. But the grind never stopped. And the fourth thing is, is that, um, sorry about my nails. Once again, I have not had time to get them done, and I've kind of been a little bit, um, lazy, I guess you could say. If you do see black stuff underneath my nails, that is not dirt, that is actually black clay when I was attempting to make black butter slime. So let's just get on with the video. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy scissors and some activator in case any of the slimes got sticky over shipping. Oh my gosh. How does that even happen? Oh, she did not. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got so excited. I love high chews so much. Oh my gosh. But look at all of these slimes. I feel like it's Christmas. So she just uses those standard six ounce screw top lid containers that every slime seller uses. At the top, she just has her logo. If you didn't already know, and if you couldn't already tell, her slimes are based off of cat themes and puns. Along the side, she just has her labels. So right here we have jelly bean paws and well, bam I can't even imagine how long this took her for every single one of her slimes to just place them down here to make it look like this. So cool. If you do see like gold stuff on my hands that is actually from the marker I used to block out my address on the package. Oh my gosh, and there's another one at the top? You're joking. There isn't just one at the bottom. There is also a paw at the top, which is so cute. And then we also have these little, like, paw charms inside of the slime. Alrighty, I am so impressed with this detail. Yes. Let's try to get it out one go. Oh, I did it. I did it. Her cloud slimes are the best thing ever. Definitely one of my favorites. It is so soft and fluffy, and literally with one pull, it already gets floofy like this. This is honestly like the perfect cloud slime ever. The only way I can describe this is just think of a perfect dream cloud slime, and this is basically it right here. It is so thick and floofy and poofy, and there is little to no snow fallout on your hands considering how thick this is. And it even gives off super soft sizzles when you stretch it like this. Would you look at that? It's a little fake jelly bean. That is the cutest thing ever. After it is all mixed together, it is this really light baby girl pink color to it. It is so pretty and pastel and gorgeous. It also has a very light scent of cherries. It kind of reminds me of cherry medicine, but I don't really mind it that much because it is so light. So overall, I'm going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. Up next, we have Blue Hawaiian Thicky Mickey. So as you can see, she literally fills her containers up to the very top. Like if you filled this anymore, it would be overflowing. So I'm really appreciative of that because she is willing to give her buyers the full amount that they bought. Whoa, oh my gosh. Hi, Charlie. With this dude he's smelling all of the yummy scents it has this really nice light baby blue color to it and it has those little mickey sprinkles in it i'm not sure if you saw them at the beginning but they just look like that wow god oh no but anyway this is just like your perfect glue all baseline it is super clicky stretchy glossy creamy Bubble Pops are pretty good, along with the really nice color and the little sprinkles. It also has a really tropical smell. It smells like a pina colada. So overall, I'm going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. Wow, would you look at that self-inflating goodness. Who knew a glue all slime could inflate so much within literally like two minutes. I can't even get it back into the container now. Up next, we have Dr. Pepper. As you can see, this is one of her slimes that is a play on words. Look at how thick that butter slime is. Holy crud. Ooh. 
This is a super sizzly type of butter slime and I love it. Honestly, next to slime OGs, this is probably one of my favorite butter slime textures ever. It is so light, super soft, creamy, and smooth. Super stretchy and it also gives off a really light sizzle at the very beginning. I just feel like her proportions are absolutely perfect. There is just enough clay in here to make it an awesome butter slime, but there's not too much that makes it too stiff. And I know I'm gonna get attacked in the comments, but I'm not a huge soda drinker and I normally don't really like the smell of sodas that much, but this one actually smells really delicious. It just smells like a really light hint of cinnamon and sugar. It's not a super sweet scent. It does have a little bit of a bite to the nose, but it doesn't hurt your nose if that makes any sense. So overall, I'm going to give this butter slime a 10 out of 10. Up next, we have Meow and Mist. Ooh, wait a second. <gasps> Is this one of... Ooh, look at how awesome these glitters are. They're like color shifting, and I'm sure this wasn't intentional, but when you hold it in a certain light, this kind of looks like a heart right here. Whoa. Now, I have never seen her try out this textured slime before. Peachy Babies also sells a slime like this, and it's like a clear cloud cream texture. This is exactly like hers, but it is just a little bit jigglier. This is so pretty when all the glitters are mixed in. Oof. Yes. I do have a little bit of an issue with it with it sticking to my desk, but if you roll it around, it kind of picks it all up, so it isn't a big issue. And unfortunately, it does have a good amount of snow fallout on my hands, but then when you go and touch the slime, most of it is off, so that isn't a huge problem either. But it can get a little bit annoying when you're trying to play with the slime. It is so soft and smooth and like fluffy now because I've played with it so much. It's kind of like a light hot pink color, like hot pink's little sister. That would be called pastel, sweetie. And the scent also kind of reminds me of Sweet Pea from Bath & Body Works. So overall, I am going to give this slime an 8.5 out of 10, mainly because some of the small details I could see could get really annoying, like the snow fallout and the slime getting stuck on our desks. But other than that, this slime is really awesome for her first time testing out this texture. Now, would you look at that self-inflating action? Look how poofy it got, oh my gosh. So up next, we have a Halloween-themed slime. This is Candy Corn Marshmallow Cream. Even though this is a Halloween-themed slime, I'm sure this video is gonna get up way after Halloween, so I apologize. Whoa. Wow, now this is a unique texture. Let me explain. So it kind of feels like a glue-all base slime with a little hint of Daiso soft clay. So it doesn't feel like it's a complete butter slime, but it also doesn't feel like it's a complete regular glue-all slime. It's like a perfect mix in between. It's really like creamy and soft. It also has this really nice light pastel orange color to it. And it also has a very light scent of vanilla extract. It smells so good. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. Up next, we have Perth Day Cake. As you can see, this is yet another one of her slimes that has a play on words. So at the bottom, we have these little like Mickey sprinkles. I don't really know how that ties into a birthday cake, but who doesn't love Mickey or Disney? So let's just, wow, this is thick. Whoa, this is insanely thick. Look at this light yellow pastel color. It is gorgeous. Wow, just wow. For how thick it is, it still is pretty stretchy. Unfortunately, with thicker cloud slimes comes more snow fallout. But when you squeeze the slime, there still is some snow on your hands. So I do have to complain about that a little bit because this can get a little bit messy if you're playing with this on a carpet or something. I wouldn't say this is the best at drizzling because it is just so thick, but it is super fun to stretch and watch just like floof up like so. And the one thing that I love about our cloud slimes is that they never leave a wet residue on your hands. If anything, they're dry. So overall, I'm going to give this slime a 9 out of 10, mainly because of the excessive snow fallout. I know it is so difficult to get a super thick cloud slime and not get a lot of snow fallout, but I do have to address that a little bit because one, I have to vary my ratings, and two, it was just a little thing that wasn't absolutely perfect about her slimes. So last, but definitely not least, we have Kitty Loaf. Whoa. 
oh my this is yet another one of her really nice butter slime textures so this butter slime does feel a little bit thinner than her dr pepper but it is still really nice once again it is just like your perfect butter slime it is super smooth soft spreadable creamy stretchy you know all the good stuff it's not like you guys haven't heard all of this before from me but it has this really nice light brown color like a loaf or a bread loaf or something of that type and it also smells like sweet bread i don't even know how to describe that scent to you but imagine bread and it being sweet <laughs> Wow, so descriptive. It just smells really good though. You would think sweet bread would smell absolutely disgusting, but it does smell really, really good. So overall, I'm gonna give this kitty loaf a 10 out of 10. Okay, self-inflating queen. I was only playing with this for no joke, like maybe two minutes at most, and it is already so poofy and floofy and amazing. Extras! So she absolutely spoiled me with extras. Like this candy wasn't enough, she also gave me a squishy and a four ounce slime. So the extra slime she gave me was Guava Thicky Mickey. I'm guessing this is the same texture as all of her other Thicky Mickeys, but the fact that she gave me a four ounce slime as an extra is just everything and a half. Oh my gosh, yes. This is literally the same exact texture as all of her other Thicky Mickeys. I feel like I have the whole OG collection now, the yellow, the blue, and now the green. Ugh, I am just in love with this gloss. So in addition to that slime, she also gave me this little peanut squishy, which is actually so slow rising. <laughs> I love it. Oops. She also spoiled me with all of this candy. She gave me this massive bag of sour high chews. She also gave me this massive bag of just like candy, like you guys. I love it. So as you can see, I just have my second Halloween right here. Just like, look at all of this candy. And then in this little baggie, she just has her business card and Borax baggies and all of that. Oh my God. This is the cutest sticker ever. This is literally going on my laptop. I love this so much. To all of you that thought I was kidding, And then we just have her really cute Slime Meowie business card. She plugs all of her information on her business card, but I will be sure to link it all down below if you want to go check her out as well. Inside of here, we just have her activator instructions and her slime care sheet with a little baggie of borax. And then on the top, she also just has more information about her website. So I am just super impressed with Slime Meowie's textures. The thing that really impresses me about her is that she has tried literally every slime texture out there. So I'd really like to thank Slime Meowie for this awesome slime package and all of these extras like thank you mm. so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button down below and the little post notification bell right next to it to get notified every time i post a new video by doing this you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be sure to see you all next week bye